Hello Fluffies! Today we are going to unbox my first ever dress that I bought new from the Angelic Pretty Paris store Ice Cream Parlor and it's been a bloodbath but I got it! Yay! My name is Joelle and you're watching Fluffy Kawaii Jo, the channel where I try to show you that everybody can be Kawaii. Just before I change into the dress I will also tell you all about this coordinates so stay tuned and let's open this box! Yay! So I think by the time they opened the reservation and the time they shipped was only two weeks. I was really expecting it. You reserve and then it takes month before it reaches the store in Paris and they can ship it to you. But no, here it is. So only that in the box. A nice AP bag that is closed with the tape. Like usual, typical Japanese thing to do. Maybe I will just stick it to this bag somewhere. Oh, I should put it somewhere here. Would it go? I don't know. Let's put it here for now. Yay! Okay. Are you ready? Okay. So I have the barrette. I have the socks. And I have the dress. And they give me my ticket. Oh, to remind me how much I paid. Yes. <laughs> okay. I don't need to see that. Whoa. Okay. So this is my first ever purchase of a dress in the store in AP. Even though AP is my favorite brand ever, I had never bought a dress brand new in the store before. I have bought second hands that were actually new with tag because the per person bought it and then was not their size or whatever they sold it but i never bought a dress in the store and also it was a bloodbath because just after i reserved it it was sold out in a few colorways i was expecting the fabric to be a little bit different it has a nice texture but it's actually polyester and not that good quality i don't know it's shiny i was expecting some kind of cotton or something like that with that texture and it's still ugly polyester i'm a little bit sad about that but other than that let me see let me just compare the price i have the price like in japanese to the one i paid in euros it's not that bad i don't know if i got the price without the taxes because I'm in Switzerland and not in France. I don't know, but usually when you take the price with tax in Japanese and you remove two uh, digits, then you kind of guess get the price that it is usually in the store. Um, I mean in dollars or Swiss francs or euros and it's actually almost the same price. So I guess that's not bad at all. Really, usually it's like 40% more or something like really ridiculously higher. The other one that was cute was pink and socks, but I wear mint and chocolate usually like this one today. And the pink here is a little bit more magenta and I would say more purplish pink than the colors that I usually wear. And they have bright yellow that I don't wear at all. I don't have any accessories in yellow. And yeah, some blue. So I don't know, the print is kind of weird. I think these colors would work w better in the pink and sax colorway because it will be almost that. Or it will be too lost in the same colors of the print. At least here you can see the print on the mint. I don't know, it's interesting. That reminded me of a conversation that we had. Usually AP has the same colors for all the colorways in their print and they just change the background. So then sometimes the color don't work too well with the new color of the background. And since you have to print in a fabric, it's not that hard to change a little bit each of the colors to blend more and go more with the tones of this dress. And I posted on my Instagram the other day, I will see if I find this picture again. It's a dress from Taobao and in the colorway they, they have animals in front and in the back 
in one it's uh, in terms of blue maybe something like that they have an iceberg like mountains with snow and on the other one which is more in the red tones it's a christmas tree so you can definitely have a lot of different things in the different colorways even if you keep the same kind of print but i thought that was that was really cool so here i'm not saying it doesn't work at all because i think it does but it's definitely Colors that will be a little bit more tricky for me to coordinate, but that's good. That's a good challenge And I like that they use Grokran here because it works with the, this texture of the fabric I like very very much this kind of big top bib in the front. Yeah, I like it. Um, the lace is some kind of uh, ice cream lace and on the bottom it's the same here yeah, they only have two kinds of lace three kinds of lace here it works well and we have uh waist ties but waist ties that are one-sided so this is difficult to make a very beautiful bow that falls and we have Porsche shearing with corset lacing very good quality here yeah very good and a zip and a hook and adjustable it's not adjustable, but then when it's like that, you can always move the button to a different place if you want. Yeah, I think it's good. It's a nice dress. Really nice dress. Yay, I cannot wait to wear it. And we do have the socks. Ooh, the yellow in the socks is very different from the yellow in the dress. And the socks released afterwards. It's kind of weird. And it's supposed to be like a ice cream cone or something. I don't know if I'm thrilled by the socks or not, but I'm doing what I'm preaching. If you get the chance, get the socks, get the bow when you buy the dress new, because then it will be a hassle to hunt it later. So I got the socks. And they were only like 22 euros, which is really not bad at all for AP. And also the beret. Yay, I usually don't like this kind of clip. I like when it's an alligator clip more than this. But I guess with the wig I managed to make it stay. With my own hair it's more difficult. But it works. But it's tiny so maybe I'll put it on the side and not really as a head bow. I don't know. But at least you don't have the thing here in the head bow that's uh, digging through your skull so at least yeah that's good so i think it's time to wear it right now oh no before that let me tell you about this coordinate i'm wearing a dress from taobao which i will put the name here from diamond honey and the wig is from bodyline the blouse is from lady sloth these two oreo rings are from a store called kawaii in sweden this is from Kawaii Zombie. This is, I don't know, handmade from friend, maybe. These wrist cuffs are from Candy Mania. This is from AliExpress. This is from Fluffy Dory. This is from BBMB Deco. This is also handmade, I think. I had another one here that fell. I don't know where it is. And this is from Baby the Sunshine Bright. This is from Claire's. This is from Claire's and this is from Claire's also, I think. I have tights from Fluffy Dory and I have shoes from Irregular Choice. Let's change into this gorgeous dress. So this is it. This is ice cream parlor from Angelic Pretty. I like it very much. I think the shape is very pretty. It's a little bit high-waisted. My real waist is here, but that's fine. It's still a bit tight though and it's, it was supposed to fit my size and as you can see in the back the corset lacing is not long enough, the ribbon is not long enough for me to tie it and it's still tight. Yeah, I think it's very, very comfortable. Something about the socks. They're kind of stretchy for um, material. I like this kind of shine material it's very nice it's uh, thick and it's uh, I don't know I love this material for socks but the design they have for the top of the whipped cream 
the way that it is sewn inside of the socks, it makes it super not stretchy at this part and then it makes it super uncomfortable and really squeezing my leg at some place but the rest of the socks is so completely stretchable and very nice so this is a little bit weird but it's sad it's just because of the design but I don't know if I will find it so comfortable or not because it's also ugly when it's squeezing my leg I don't know and that's not the most cute AB socks. I've seen way cuter ones, but at least they match the dress and I have the uh, socks with the dress. And also a tip of mine, I always, always keep the tag on the dress until I am sure it fits me and I want to keep it because if for some reason I decided to sell it now because it doesn't fit me, new without tag is way less valuable than new with tag. So. Always keep the tag until you're sure that you will keep it. And let's talk about the barrette. It has a side because of the bear that is in the middle and also this heart here. I don't know. I think it looks... It would fit like that, but it's not as pretty uh, as if it would be flat. But it's not as straight as it would be here. So I feel like it kind of doesn't look good and doesn't stay good on my head, you know what I mean. I totally forgot to mention this before, but this dress has only one pocket. It has one pocket here and on the other side there is the zip and there is no other pocket next to the zip. So only one pocket, which is already good. And we do have an extra heart shape button here that is the one that holds the strap on the back. But other than that, I think it's a very cute dress and I'm happy I got it. And thank you so much for watching. And if you liked me unboxing this Angelic Pretty dress, I have a playlist full of other Angelic Pretty unboxings. So click on it and see you in the next video. Remember, everybody can be Kawaii. Bye bye!